Emails are just one reason Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz says that he absolutely cannot support Hillary Clinton. Well, he went on national TV today to defend his vote for Donald Trump. New specialist Andrew Adams live with more on this story. Hi, Andrew. I'm like, yeah, just last month, Jason Chaffetz said I'm out. He could no longer endorse Donald Trump, but a vote for Trump? That's apparently a different matter. Thank you, everybody. Donald Trump. I will never, ever let you down. Hillary Clinton. This state is in play for the first time in years. A civic duty or a civic dilemma. I think I reflect what a lot of Utahns and a lot of Americans are struggling with. But Congressman Jason Chaffetz like tells the CNN's The Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer, this vote for president is a hard one. Everybody, I think, is uh, struggling with their own decision. On the one hand, Trump. I can't defend the comments that he made. But on the other hand, Clinton. I think Hillary Clinton is that bad. Trump. Those actions and those words. Clinton. She is so bad and so wrong. He says in the end, he had to pick one. And last week, uh, my wife and I both voted for uh, Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States. These are wild times. Chaffetz says his Trump vote is not an endorsement. I think the endorsement is, is far different than who you actually vote for. And he blames Trump's opponent for what he describes as one of the biggest breaches of security in the history of the State Department. She has not been truthful about their email scandal. I mean, the list goes on and on. Chaffetz says his endorsements haven't made a huge difference anyway. I mean, hey, if my endorsement mattered, Mitt Romney would be the president of the United States. His Chaffetz says is just another vote between two tough choices. But in the context of either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, it's Donald Trump. As far as the issue of the Clinton emails, Chaffetz says the FBI has changed its stance, no longer sharing its investigative summaries, calls it a pending matter now. Back to you.